This is amazing. Now we have Quen 1.5 model. As you can see in this chart, Quen 1.5 72 billion chat is very close to Chat GPT 4 Turbo. It is slightly better than Chat GPT 4, the preview version, and you can see all other versions here. In particular, Quen 1.5 72 B outperforms Llama 270 B across all benchmarks, showcasing its exceptional capabilities in language understanding, reasoning, and math. It is also trained on 12 different languages. The context length is up to 32,000 tokens. It outperforms GPT 3.5. It can be used with various tools such as Olama, LM Studio, MLX, and much more. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Quen 1.5. It contains model of different sizes. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this on your computer using Olama and we are going to do coding test. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. This is the config I'm using and I'm using Linux. So I'm going to download Olama from the Linux and using this command. Just copy this paste it here and then click enter. Once that is installed, type Olama serve and then click enter. This will automatically start the Olama server. Now we are going to keep this terminal running, open a new terminal. There we are going to type Olama run quen 72b hyphen chat because we are going to use chat model. As soon as you click that, it automatically downloads the model. Now it is ready to be used. First, I'm going to choose Python and very easy challenge. So first task, return sum of two numbers. So I'm going to copy the task, go back to the terminal, paste it here, and then click enter. I can see it is getting generated. I'm going to copy this, going to the code, pasting it there, and click check. And it is a pass. Next, going to choose easy, find the discount. So going to copy this, pasting it here, and clicking enter. Now going to copy this, code generated, and pasting it in the code section, and click check. It is a pass. Next, going to the medium to find adjacent nodes. So going to copy the task, seems like a big one, and then pasting it to Quen. So I'm going to copy the code, paste it in the code section, check. It says is adjacent is not defined. Yeah, I think the function name is is adjacent. So I'm going to change this is adjacent and then click check. That is a pass. Next, going to try the hard, find domain name from DNS provider. Copying that and asking it to Quen. It is going to use the socket module. Now I'm going to copy the code, testing it here, and click check. And it is a pass. Now going to the next challenge, very hard. Going to choose identity matrix, copy the task, and ask it to Quen. And now going to copy the code, and going to click the check. Invalid syntax, line number 11. I'm going to copy the error, and going to ask Quen. Apologies for the confusion. Now got the fixed code, going and pasting it there, click check. Seems like there's a misplaced parenthesis. Going to do a final try. Going to copy this, paste and click enter. Going to copy this, going and pasting it here. I think it will still fail because I can see a double parenthesis here, closing one and another closing towards the end. So there are totally three. So I'm going to click check anyhow it's going to fail. Yes, I thought so. So I'm going to try deleting this one bracket and click check. Yeah, now the error is on a different line. So I will mark this as a fail. Finally, we're going to try expert level programming. ECG sequence. So going to copy this and ask Quen. Now going to copy this, pasting it here and click the check. Invalid syntax. I can clearly see the error is the total number of brackets. The opening brackets and the closing brackets are not the same. So going to give a final try, asking Quen to fix it. Now going to copy this and I've pasted it here. Still, I can see it is struggling to count the number of brackets. Here I can see two extra brackets. Even in here, there's an extra bracket. Here, there's an extra bracket. So this is going to fail anyway. Yes, as expected. But that's good. At least it was able to finish up to the hard level. Next, we are going to ask it to create the classic snake game in Python. Create snake game in Python and click enter. I can see it's going step by step reasoning for the task it's going to perform. It gave me only few lines of code, so I'm going to ask to give the full code. Give me the full snake game 
in Python code. Now the snake game got created. So I'm going to copy this, paste in VS code. I can see one error here. So even that is because of the bracket. So it's very clear that it doesn't know the number of brackets it's creating. Even here, I can see an error, the bracket error. I can see many bracket errors here, here, here. So don't think it's going to work, but still I'm going to run it to show you. So yeah, as you can see here, there's an indentation error, line number 25. Try again. Yeah, as you can see here, it's a clear error. So overall, the program is good, well-structured, but it's finding it hard to count the number of opening and closing brackets and where it need to be placed. So I give this a fail. Overall, it's a good model. It is coming near chat GPT-4 Turbo, which is good. And I hope open source large language model will soon be able to come very close to chat GPT. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.